Welcome everyone to the New Jersey Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. My name is Jasmine. I'm going to serve as your facilitator for our session. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping announcements. The first, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our amazing presenters at any point throughout our session. Second, your camera and microphone are muted, so we are not able to hear nor see you. Third, this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And finally, this presentation will be recorded, so within about a week or so, you'll have access to our recording. With that said, I want to turn it over to our first presenter, which is Bloomfield College. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Julia. I am the Associate Director of Admission here at Bloomfield College. Uh, just give me one second and I'm going to start my slideshow. Um, this is uh, me. I'm at Bloomfield College. I've been there since 2009. So I've been a trusted member of the staff. I'm in charge of the freshman recruitment for the college. Uh, sorry if it's hard for you to see my screen, but I'm going to fix that for you right now. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, Bloomfield is located in Bloomfield, New Jersey. You can find us right here on the map in northern New Jersey. We border towns like Montclair, not far from Newark as well. Uh, we are the only predominantly Black and Hispanic serving institution in New Jersey. So we do consider ourselves a minority serving institution. We're the only four-year private college that has those distinctions in the state. So we're very proud of that. We're ranked among uh, the best social mobility colleges in the state of New Jersey as well. N ranked number one at moving students forward in socioeconomic status. And we are a smaller school, so we only have 1600 students. So we do have a smaller uh, student to faculty ratio. It's a 14 to one. So your average class size here at Bloomfield is only gonna be about 15 students. Uh, we do offer over 60 different majors. This is a list of them on the screen. Uh, I will highlight them by our different divisions. Uh, we have the business division, which covers things like accounting, where we also have a master's of accounting as well. It covers things like economics and finance, international business management, management marketing. Uh, we also have our computer science major and network engineering within that program as well. We're very well known in the state of New Jersey for our creative arts and technology program. One of the only schools to have a, a a bachelor's degree in game design, which you can also do with computer programming. So you can do a joint bachelor's degree in game and computer programming. We also have an animation program, 2D and 3D, expanded media, game design, graphic design, uh, music technology. We have a recording studio on campus. We have an actual, an entire building that's dedicated to the creative arts and technology here on campus that includes a motion capture studio, uh, which is one of those uh, motion capture studio is where you put the suit on with the balls and you actually move around and that animates you and you can create animations from that lifelike animations. We do have an education program for anybody who might be interested in becoming a teacher. Um, we also have a humanities division which covers things like media communication and English and creative writing, history, philosophy and religion. We have the natural science and mathematics division which covers things like our biology program if you're interested in pre med that also covers chemistry and medical imaging and math. Uh, we are one of the best nursing programs in the state of New Jersey as well. Uh, so you can get involved in that and do over 900 hours of clinical work in the hospital before graduating in those four years to become a registered nurse with a Bachelor of Science. In addition to that, we have a, a social and behavioral science division, which covers things like government and international studies, psychology, sociology, criminal justice, um, public administration. Um, and then those are some, the, on the side is some of our accelerated programs. And we do have a master's in teaching as well. To talk a little bit about our student life, we are NCAA Division II. We're part of the Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference. And we have the following sports for men. We have baseball, um, basketball, soccer, cross country, track and field. And for women, we have basketball, soccer, cross country, track and field, bowling, softball, and volleyball. And we've also included eSports to our resume of sports that we have here as well. So we have an eSports center for any of you who are interested in joining an eSports organization. We have over 30 different active clubs and organizations on campus, including things like our volunteer club, our VIP commuter club, which allows students to go on trips for free and eat in our um, campus dining hall once a week for free as well for our commuter students and helps them keep engaged in our campus. We do have Greek life. We also have clubs like the, um, the Allies Club, which is Show Your Colors for our LGBTQ community, which I'm the advisor for. 
We have a bunch of different resources um, for our students on campus. We have an office for student success that is dedicated to things like advising, coaching, career development, tutoring, free tutoring for all of our courses. Uh, we have health services, which include things like personal counseling. Um, so there's a lot of different or, um, resources that we offer to our students to help make sure our students can be as successful as possible while they're on our campus. And we do have a resident student population here on campus. Um, and so if you are interested in living on campus, we do have that option. We have both um, general um, classic dorm rooms with two per person, community bathrooms, and then we also do have our upperclassmen uh, residence halls, which have our the suites with a shared bathroom. Um, this is our mascot, Deacon the Pale Bear, and he is the mascot for our NCAA Division II Athletics. If you are interested in applying, you can fill out our application on our website. We do not require the SAT or ACT. And actually this year, we are only requiring students to submit their high school transcript to get a decision from us. Considering how everything is going now, we're trying to make the application process as simple as possible. Um, we do offer over 96% of our students receive a grant directly from the college. We have one of the lowest tuition rates of any four year private college in the state. Um, and we guarantee that we're going to meet your need as much as possible. Uh, so if you haven't already, if you're interested and uh, you're a senior, please make sure to fill out your FAFSA. And if you're interested in Bloomfield, you can include our code. So that kind of is almost time for me. That's almost my six minutes. But if you're interested in finding out more, you can go to events.bloomfield.edu to sign up for one of our upcoming events or to go on a tour. We have both virtual and in-person tours. Please feel free to take a screenshot of this, grab my contact information, text me if you have any questions. And I think that gets me exactly to where I need to be. It's been a pleasure to be here and I look forward to answering your questions soon. Perfect, thank you, Bloomfield College. Up next, we have Stevenson University. Good afternoon, everyone. Just give me one second to get my screen set up. My name is Megumi Gomio. I am one of the senior admissions counselors at Stevenson University, and I work with students um, from primarily northern and central New Jersey. Um, feel free during my presentation to go ahead and take screenshots of any of the information to hold on to to reference later on. So just a few fast facts to get to you um, a little bit more familiar with the university. Um, we are located in Owings Mills, Maryland, which is about um, half an hour outside of Baltimore City and about an hour north of Washington, D.C., as you can see from this map. Um, our location and our proximity to these areas makes it really easy for students to find opportunities for careers, for internships, um, and also just for fun things to do on the weekends and in their free time. Um, we're also a great fit for those of you looking to go out of state for school. We're on average about, I want to say two and a half to three and a half hours away um, for most of you at home. So a great fit for those of you, again, looking to go out of state and wanting to be far enough away from home, but not too, too far away. We are considered a small university. We average at about 17 students per class. Um, so you really do get to know your professors. Um, it's a more of a one-on-one -on -one learning environment. So if you know that you, oops, Sorry about that. You know, if you know that you do better um, in smaller class sizes, um, we are a great fit for you. One of the most unique things about the university um, is our connection to career. All of our majors offer opportunities for students to get hands-on experience in their given um, area of interest. Um, and then we offer over 90 different majors, minors, and tracks. Um, our most popular majors are nursing. We have a direct entry nursing program. It's probably what we're most well known for. Um, biology, business administration, criminal justice, and psychology. And I do want to add that we added biomedical engineering um, last year. Um, as one of our newest majors. This is how you apply to become a Mustang. Um, so you'll submit an application using either the Common App or our website. It's free to apply either way. Um, we need your official high school transcript and then your essay and short response. So for the essay, um, we use the Common App essay topics. And then for the short response, we want to know in under 100 words why you think you would be a good fit at the university. Um, we were test blind for this past year and it is looking like we will be test blind for next year as well. Um, if you wanna stay up to date with our application policies, um, you can check our website, stevenson.edu apply. 
We offer a wide variety of different scholarships, as you can see from this slide. Um, we have merit-based awards, which are automatic consideration, so you don't need to do anything extra to be considered for one of these awards. They range from $10,000 to $20,800 per year, um, and you'll know in your acceptance letter if you have received one of these awards. The rest of these awards listed on this slide require some sort of separate application, and they have their own requirements um, that students need to meet. So you'll see we offer a full tuition award. We offer um, scholars programs for those of you interested in continuing community service or developing your leadership skills. If anyone is interested in majoring in theater or pursuing visual arts, so graphic design, fashion design, or film, we also offer these major-based scholarships. And then lastly, we have an interview-based award called our Founder Scholarship um, that I think is probably the most straightforward one to apply for. Um, and as a note, um, you can also submit the FAFSA for need-based financial aid consideration. Um, in the past two years, we have been named a best value school by the US News and World Report. These are all of our important deadlines. Um, just a really important thing to remember, we operate on a rolling admissions calendar. Um, we do not have early action or early decision. All of our deadlines are based around scholarships and financial aid, as you will see here. Um, for anyone who is a junior in the room, um, our application will open on August 1st. Um, and it takes us roughly three weeks to get back to a student once they have submitted all the necessary materials. If there are any seniors out there, there actually is still time to apply if you are interested. Um, so make sure um, to check us out if you um, want to learn more. We have tons of different visit options available. Um, we have virtual information sessions offered three times a week. We'll be having workshops all throughout the spring, as well as virtual preview days and open houses. Our next preview day is actually tomorrow evening. Um, we have a virtual walking tour available on our website. And then we are actually also open for in-person campus visits. If you are comfortable, um, you can come take a tour of our campus on a golf cart. So thank you so much for your time. Um, feel free again to screenshot my contact information. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have and you could connect with us on Instagram. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stevenson University. Up next, we have Berkeley College. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so happy to be here tonight on this session with all of you. So um, counselors, uh, school counselors, students, parents, welcome. I'm Melissa from Berkeley College, and I'm joined uh, with my colleague Zachary Antonucci. He's also here this evening um, to sit in, help us in the chat box, help us with any Q&A. So we're happy to be with you. Berkeley College has a lot of things happening this year. We're actually celebrating our 90th anniversary which is so exciting. Um, we have so many festivities happening and so many different events that we're going to invite you to. As a matter of fact, I put a link in the chat box for all of you. Um, and if you wanted to just jot it down and copy that, that'll be a great way for you to connect with me. I will be connecting with you afterward and sending you additional information, but that is a great way to be invited to our open houses, our events. We're actually one of the first colleges right now during the pandemic to be offering different career events for our students, counselors, and uh, parents, where you can join us and sit in on a Zoom meeting and attend one of our career events that would focus on a very specific a career or major that you may be thinking about. So if you were undecided or you were a junior or you're a sophomore and you're still figuring things out, that would be a great way for you to make some connections. So right now I am going to share my screen with you. There's so many different things that students think about when they're deciding on a college. And one of the things that I want to share with you is our fabulous recognition. And you'll see, of course, on the screen is a picture of our Berkeley Knights, which is our basketball team. And we do have athletics and amazing student life opportunities, which I will show you very quickly. But this is very exciting. Berkeley College, New Jersey is ranked among the best regional colleges north. And in the 2021 US News and World Report Best Colleges Survey, we were included on the economic diversity and least student debt list. So what makes Berkeley College um, receive this recognition and what other things have we received? Well, we're also recognized in the nation for best military and veteran uh, programs and best online bachelor degree programs. So, you know, we do have a variety of learners at Berkeley College. Some are uh, students that are coming directly out of high school and some of them are students 
that are adult learners coming back or continuing on with their education. So I am going to jump in a little bit. And I know one of the other things that, that is really important to us as we begin our uh, conversation on college is financial aid. I just want to share with you that this year, Berkeley College will be providing over $48 million in financial aid. And I will show you all of our options. One of our most impressive scholarship options is the Honors Scholarship. And the Honors Scholarship is a scholarship which goes from a full tuition scholarship all the way to a half tuition scholarship based on GPA. And that GPA would begin at a 3.0 GPA. So we're looking at many, many different ways that Berkeley College is going to assist you and work with you with our institutional aid. And the other notable scholarship of course would be for any of our presidential scholarship winners, which would be 140 half tuition scholarships and seven full tuition scholarship recipients. Now, Berkeley College also is going to offer you the opportunity to partner with us and participate in a corporate learning partnership scholarship. If you or any of your immediate families works for one of Berkeley College's corporate partners, you will automatically receive a 30% discount on your tuition. So you'll receive an immediate 30% tuition discount. So what makes Berkeley College special beside for that? And that's kind of the the uh, the point that I'm going to get to now. Being a part of our community makes it special because being part of our community allows you to um, join a very diverse student body. We're represented by over 50 countries. We have campus locations in New York and New Jersey, and we don't charge out of state tuition. So we offer a lot of campus experiences. So you can look as, uh, you know, as far as New York City Midtown or White Plains, which would be our New York campuses. Um, New York City Midtown and White Plains would um, be a great experience for you, especially White Plains if you're looking to live on campus and you're looking for residential housing. We even offer studio apartments at that campus. So very nice options where you can have an apartment set up and or live off campus. Um, New York City again would offer housing. It would be typically considered off campus housing. Then of course we have easily accessible our North campus, um, especially great for students who are looking for that option for transportation. We have a campus in Paramus. Woodland Park is your more traditional campus. Woodbridge for our students, uh, that is our further south campus. So that would be great for our students who, you know, live a little bit further south, um, you know, from, you know, maybe in Ocean County, Monmouth County, Middlesex County, Union County. And then of course, to maximize your flexibility, we have our online campus and my goodness, where would we all be without our online learning, um, you know, in this day and age. So Berkeley College is going to offer you tons of flexibility, lots of things that are happening. Let's take a really quick peek at our academics and our undergraduate degree programs. So Berkeley College is going to position in three schools, the Larry L. Lewin School of Business, School of Health Studies, and School of Professional Studies. Um, you know, business, criminal justice, our health science programs are among the most popular. Um, one of our new programs, which I have to tell you, trending, 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 it's all we're talking about, business data science, where you can concentrate in artificial intelligence, which is your software engineering and computer science, or you can concentrate in data analytics and every job that we're looking at right now, um, you know, in operations and management somewhere, somewhere, how has that word analytics right after it. So that's a great opportunity if you're looking to see what jobs are going to be trending for the future. Then, of course, Berkeley College is also known for fashion and, our, you know, our graphic design and our interior design programs, which are more on the creative side. We have our marketing and, uh, of course, our MBAs and uh, LPN to BSN medical assisting, all from certificate, associate, and bachelor degree levels. We're also the home of the four-year MBA program. So I will get to that in a second. Quickly, 
uh, looking at our School of Professional Studies, graphic design, interior design, criminal justice, which my goodness, there's so many different concentrations, including social justice and social welfare. Uh, we have Homeland Security and our other brand new program, um, of course, beside for our legal studies program would be national security, which sets you up nicely for one of those federal level jobs that you may be thinking about in uh, emergency management or, you know, of course, assisting our, our country in uh, protecting it from internal and external threats. Okay, so what makes Berkeley College so different and why is Berkeley College the best choice? Uh, Berkeley College is really about our mission statement and that's about pre preparing our students for lifelong careers. Our favorite day of the entire year, which is a national celebration at our school, is the day of graduation. And that's the day that we all stop and pause and celebrate our graduates. So one of the things about Berkeley College is we are completely career focused, we're realistic, we're professional, we're flexible. Um, we have so many different offerings. We can be supportive in so many different ways from tutoring, which you receive for free, career services on campus, internships and externships and clinicals, and of course, career and job assistance for the lifetime of your career. So your dedica our dedication does not end at, at your graduation. We go on and on and on. So uh, again, our most popular majors we talked about and our academics and student life and campus life and all kinds of really exciting things for you that we want to introduce you to. So I'm not really sure how much time I have. I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to the end. So I'll stop there. Connect with us. Join us on our different events. We're, we're happy to welcome you into our family. Thank you so much for having Berkeley College today. Thank you, Berkeley College. Up next, we have Binghamton University. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is David Babb, and I am the Assistant Director for New Jersey Recruitment at Binghamton University, State University of New York. I'm gonna be sharing my screen and we're gonna go ahead and get going um, so I can stick with this time here. Um, <clears throat> so I believe you're all seeing the right screen. Perfect, great. All right, so Binghamton University, um, State University of New York, we are located uh, upstate New York. We are roughly around three hours north um, from New York City, um, about an hour south of Syracuse, and we're within a 40 um, minute drive to Ithaca, New York, and where Cornell and some of the other big schools are in um, New York State. So um, within a five hour radius of our campus is where you'll find pretty much all the major cities that our students will end up in when they leave us. Um, so that's the reason why we, we, we like to talk about that and make sure that, especially once we start talking about outcomes and where our students end up, this is generally where most of our students go when they leave us. Um, however, we do have students from all 50 states and from over 120 different countries um, that come to Binghamton. Now, Binghamton truly is a residential campus. Um, we are the number one public university in the state of New York. Um, so since this is New Jersey, if this were New Jersey, we would be the Rutgers of, of New Jersey. Um, so uh, the other thing too that I, I love to mention in these types of presentations is that Binghamton is a part of the SUNY system. Um, and SUNY State University of New York is the, is the largest public college and university system um, in the country. Uh, there are 64 colleges and universities that all identify as SUNY. Um, together, all of the campuses boast roughly um, around 600,000 students um, from all over the world. Um, and Binghamton is the number one school within that system. Now in New York State, we have two public systems. We have SUNY and we also have CUNY, which is the City University of New York. So if you're looking at public schools um, in New York State, there's over a hundred schools for you to choose from total. Now at Binghamton, we have roughly 14,300 undergraduate students with a total population of 18,000 students on our campus. We have roughly around 130 majors and programs divided into seven different schools and colleges on our campus. Now, our most popular majors are business admin, nursing, computer science, um, biology, psychology, engineering, um, biochem, and accounting. Um, now, this is very important to us because academics is a huge deal on our campus. Our students um, are choosing Binghamton because we're a tier one research institution. We focus heavily on research, and I'll, I'll be talking a bit more about that in, in the next slide. Um, but just for you to get an idea. So if you're a really strong STEM student, you're looking at a, a school like Binghamton, or even if you're not, if you're, if you're a liberal arts and sciences student, humanities, social sciences, we have all of those programs um, as well on our campus. Um, we have over 450 student run clubs and organizations, and we are NCAA division one, um, a part of the America East Conference 
um, in all athletics. We have every major sport except for American football. Um, at Binghamton, we have two main deadlines each year. We have an early action deadline, which is non-binding, non-committal. That's November 1st of every year. We also do have a uh, January 15th regular decision deadline as well. Um, now, after January 15th, we are rolling. So if you do want to continue to apply after that time, um, we will take applications until we um, have closed. Um, now, going into next year, we're not 100% sure if we will be um, test optional for next year. Um, so we are encouraging students, um, if you have the opportunity to take an SAT or ACT, go ahead and do that. Um, the anticipation right now is that we will be um, test optional next year as we are this year as well. And then as far as GPA wise, this is what we're looking for for students on a 100 point scale and on a four point scale. If your school's on a different scale from that, don't worry about it. We will be recalculating um, your GPA when you submit your application to us. Now at Binghamton, as I mentioned, we're a tier one research institution. So our focus is heavily on research. Now in your first year, some of the things you'll get to experience is our first year research immersion program or our source project. Both um, uh, the first year research immersion program is funded by the National Science Foundation. There's only four universities in the country that have a program like this, um, where you will start off in your first year with directed research, which basically means that by your sophomore year, you'll be a published researcher um, working directly <clears throat> either with a faculty member or doing independent research in the STEM fields. We also have another program called the Source Project, which is for students in the humanities and social sciences. Um, and that is also an option for you to start doing directed research in those areas as well. Um, every student that applies to Binghamton is automatically considered for both of these research-based programs. Um, and you will get it in your acceptance letter if you are accepted to one of them. So you don't need to submit a separate application. In addition to that, we do have two honors programs at Binghamton. We have a university scholars program, which is gonna be very similar and, and traditional to what you'll find at most other institutions. Um, but then we have a very specific one for our students in our highly selective school of management. Um, and that one's a partnership with a company called PricewaterhouseCooper or PwC. Um, and if you get into that one, it's a direct um, partnership with PwC. You get to meet with a bunch of Fortune um, 100 CEOs and you get mentored by, by people within that company. So that's a great option for those students interested in business and accounting. On top of that, we also have other research areas. So if you don't get into one of the two main research programs or one of the honors programs which have research tied into them, you can also do research through our undergraduate research center. Um, and that research center has um, research through all of the academic disciplines, whether you're a bio major or an art major, you will still have the option to do research on our campus. And then the last thing, which I think is quite important for a lot of the students that look at Binghamton, um, is that we have a lot of accelerated and early assurance programs based right on our campus. If you want to stay for a fifth year and get a master's degree, you can do that in any academic discipline at Binghamton. You don't need to apply for it in high school. You apply when you get to campus and you have until your sophomore year to decide if you wanna stay for a fifth year. Around 45% of our students stay for a fifth year and get a bachelor's and a master's degree um, in five years from Binghamton. Um, we also have quite a few early assurance programs, which are for students looking at medicine, uh, law, and we also have a pharmacy school right on campus and we have a uh, physician assistant and occupational therapy partnerships as well um, through the other SUNY schools and also through some top medical schools um, in the, the Northeast region. So with that said, um, I want to wrap it up because I, I just wanted to make sure you get the basic information. Um, but for Binghamton, we have three different applications that you could use. You can either apply on the Common App, the SUNY App, or the Coalition App. And any one of those applications would come directly to us. Our application is very simple. Um, we're just asking for the app, the uh, one letter of recommendation in your essay um, and your transcripts. And if we are, you know, if you want to submit test scores, you can. And if we're test optional, you don't have to. Um, my contact information is here on the screen. I'll also be dropping it in the chat box. And if you have any questions for Binghamton or about Binghamton, I would highly encourage you to drop them in the Q&A. We'll be doing a ton of events. We have a lot of uh, events coming up over the next month and also over the summer. We highly encourage you to take advantage of that. In addition to that, if you'd like to visit campus, you can go right on our website and you will find information about a self-guided tour as we're not doing official visits, but you can do a self-guided tour right on our campus. And that is available for anyone that would like to drive up to campus and check it out. And with that said, I wanna thank you so much for listening to me. And if you have any questions about Binghamton for me, please drop them in the Q&A as I am ready to answer them. Thank you so much. Thank you. And also thank you for reminding all of our attendees, if you have any questions, feel free to utilize the Q&A section. Um, with that said, up next, we have Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. Thank you. 
video off uh, because the PowerPoint tends to freeze for students when I have it on. Uh, so let's delve right in. We're one of the largest public universities in Northeastern Pennsylvania. But on the same note, we're a mid-sized public university at 9,000 students. We have 250 plus clubs and growing. So students start clubs at our university. Of course, there's a process to do that. And we have 76,000 alumni growing, so we hope to add to that with you. So I'm going to show you some photos of campus, including our iconic Husky statue and Carver Hall on the first slide. Um, so the, there you can see Carver Hall, one of our iconic buildings at Bloomsburg University. We have five different colleges. So I want to highlight our College of Science and Technology. I'm not going to name all the majors within our College of Science and Technology in the interest of time. Uh, so we have audiology and speech pathology, biology, um, so that could include ecology, molecular biology, natural history, pre-medical sciences, chemistry. So we have biochemistry, nanotechnology, physician preparation. We also have very popular computer science, as well as very popular digital forensics, electronics, engineering, and technology, another popular major, uh, environmental, geographical, and geological sciences. Uh, so that could include geology, environmental geoscience, we also have exercise science, which is, again is very popular undergraduate and graduate program. We have also a graduate program with that at Missouri University. We have health physics, health sciences, so pre-pharmacy, pre-PT, pre-physician uh, assistants, medical lab science, mathematics, medical imaging, our very popular nursing major. At, at Bloomsbury University. Uh, so again, there are some different options for our students. And you can see it as well, our five different colleges and our number of majors. So we have a lot of variety at Bloomsbury University. So I'm showing you some classroom space on this slide. Uh, bottom left photo is our chemistry, one of our chemistry labs. Bottom middle photo is our exercise science. You see some of our other classroom space at the university. Uh, so all of our buildings have Wi-Fi, um, both indoors and outside on the academic quad and spaces as well, as well in the residence facilities. Uh, so Bloomsburg is on a hill. Um, and Bloomsburg University is located in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, which has been recognized as one of the only incorporated towns in the state of Pennsylvania. So Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania has been recognized as that. Um, so we have many point local shops. We have national um, retail chains as well as uh, national fast casual fast food restaurants in addition to local businesses and local restaurants uh, throughout the downtown district. Uh, so you can see Carver Hall, our academic quad, where all your classes are centralized at Bloomsburg University. So all your classes will be on the academic quad if you choose to come to Bloomsburg. So very centralized and easy to get from class to class at our university. And then our library building. And then bottom photos, you can see our athletic facility, some of our apartment complexes in the top left. Our middle photo at the bottom is our Greenway Alumni Center downtown. And I'm showing some of our residence like residences. So all of our uh, residences in this terms of the students' rooms are slated to have AC by fall of 2021. We have suite style, we have traditional residence style, and then we also have apartment style in terms of our, our residences. And we provide students a fridge and microwave um, in each room. And here you can see some photos of a traditional residence style at Bloomsburg University. Again, remember by fall, um, all are slated to have AC. And you can see one of our suite style in the bottom left photo. In the top middle is an example of apartment style at Bloomsburg University. And we have 16 plus dining options. Uh, so this is our example of the face style at Bloomsburg University. Um, another example is we have different uh, fast food and fast casual that are nationally recognized chains. We have multiple of them um, in terms of uh, multiple chain uh, fast food, fast casual restaurants uh, that many individuals may recognize the name in terms of our dining options. We have 250 plus clubs and growing. 
We also have student rec center on campus with a cardio weight room, indoor rock walls, basketball courts, uh, an indoor track, uh, squash courts, a dance studio in it. We also provide students a personal trainer that they can uh, choose to sign up with if they choose uh, two times a week. That's included in our students' fees. We're D2 Athletics, Division I Men's Wrestling, and here are some examples of athletics. And that's an example of our upper campus athletic facilities at the university. I want to refer you in terms of to admissions.bluemu.edu. I'll put it in the chat, admissions.bluemu.edu. That's in terms of how to apply to Bloomsburg University. Uh, we are rolling admissions. Uh, with the exception of nursing, we do have a deadline of November 15th. So admissions.lumu.edu. That would also include our up-to-date cost information. And this is some different examples in terms of GPA, uh, uh, in terms of GPA for first year student, in addition to SAT. Remember, we are SAT, ACT test optional. We do have virtual uh, visit options as well, and there's how to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Up next, we have Brandeis University. Hi everyone, still getting used to Zoom apparently, can't start without unmuting. I'm so excited to be joining everyone here tonight. Um, sorry, one second. I only really have six minutes and I'm taking some of it away. Um, but let us get started. I'm so excited to share some information with Brand about Brandeis with you um, and give you what I think is the most pertinent information about our university. So I really like to start with our um, values of the university located about nine miles from Boston. We're so close to so much, so many other schools, so much, um, so many opportunities to get involved in your local community and the greater New England community, but we really hold on to these three values that come from the founding of our university. These are reverence for learning, the cultivation of critical thinking, and a commitment to repairing the world. These are shown both in and outside of the classroom as professors are really good about taking those interdisciplinary courses that you'll be enrolled in and having really fruitful conversations that have to do with the interconnected world that we do live in. And as far as a commitment to repairing the world, Brandeis University logged over 60,000 hours of community service um, in 2019, putting us in one of the most um, competitive schools for engaging with our communities. It's something we really value and know that engaging with the Waltham community, um, we really get to know where we are and who is around us. And so a little bit about our academics, 54% of our students double major, which is a pretty large percentage. Um, this is because of a couple reasons. One, as I noted, we are a liberal arts institution with an interdisciplinary way of learning. And this really comes across in our individual classes. And our classes have many, they meet many requirements for many different majors. And so that's called cross-listing. And so one class, one of my favorites, biofeminist ethics is a class in philosophy, women's and gender studies, and biology. And so being able to learn about this class in three different majors and areas of study, that's something that I didn't know was possible. Um, students are able to learn something from the lens of many different um, thoughts, schools of thoughts, areas of knowledge, um, different thinkers in those spheres, so many different ways to learn about one specific topic um, from so many different majors. Brandeis students are notorious for making their own majors as well. We have a make your own major program. Um, and these are some of our top um, most popular majors. Another reason that double that double majoring is so popular is because of our Brandeis core. This is our general education requirement. And we like to think of this as a really exploratory time in your educational journey at Brandeis. Now you are required to take a good amount of courses through the Brandeis core, but they range from um, health and wellness, which can be speed walking or um, reducing your carbon footprint or financial literacy, 
or you can take a class about um, oral communications and digital literacy as that's the kind of world we live in. Or you could even take a class on diversity, equity, inclusion, which is required for all of our students as we understand the importance of having all students have the same basic knowledge and language to talk about diversity, equity, inclusion in our world today. Not only do we really um, emphasize the importance of time within the classroom, but we really emphasize the importance of time spent outside the classroom as well kind of still connected to your academic interests or more personal interests. These are through research, internships, and study abroad. Research, every single major and minor can research on campus. Um, you can get started as early as your first semester, first year. Plenty of students just email their professor and say, hey, what I learned in your class was cool. Can I learn more? And then you have a research position. It's amazing. Internships, students at Brandeis have an average of three internships by the time they leave. We have an amazing career center that you actually have for life. So once you graduate, you're able to continue to use them if you decide to change careers or just needed help refreshing your resume. Internships can be found all over the world on our career centers. Um, our Career Center's career database. Um, we have over 14,000 careers and internship opportunities on our database. Study abroad, about 40% of our juniors go abroad every year. We have over 60, over 200 programs in plus 60 countries in the world. Um, you could go anywhere. There's so many different places to explore. Um, to explore and see what is um, what is around the world. You could do research, have an internship, whatever you'd like to do. Um, there are so many options for you. And then our clubs. I think this is a really cool part of um, part of Brandeis because we get to see all the different parts of student life. We have our athletics program over 200 plus clubs and tons of campus traditions. We're a fairly new university coming, um, being founded in 1948. However, we still have so many amazing different campus traditions. And lastly, application season, our early decision is November 1st and that is that is financially binding. And then we have early decision two due January 1st and regular decision. We have a holistic review process, which is happening all across the board in many schools, which is amazing because it shows us the best way to be able to represent yourself. And then uh, we have actually been test optional since 2013. So we're really comfortable reading a test optional paper and other test options. I saw a question in the chat about an International Baccalaureate um, baccalaureate uh, curriculum, we do accept those. So that is my time. Thank you all so much for um, joining us today and feel free to check out our website for more programming and if you want to speak to a counselor. So thank you. Thank you so much. With that said, that concludes the presentation portion of our college fair, but we are gonna to transition to like a Q&A portion. I would like for all of our amazing panelists to return, feel free to turn your cameras back on. And I'm gonna pose a question to each of you. Um, and we'll start with the first college that presented. So our first question now is give an interesting or fun fact about your school. So our presenters will present and share their responses to this question in the order in which they present it. Would you like me to go first? <laughs> I would say um, one of the things we're most proud of and one of the things that uh, makes us stand out is the fact that we are a predominantly black and Hispanic serving institution, as well as the fact that the majority of our students on campus are first generation college students. Uh, so that's probably our biggest um, interesting fact about Bloomfield. I would say um, a lot of things come to mind, but I think the one that for some reason is really just coming to mind for me is that our stadium, our Mustang Stadium that our um, field athletics teams used to practice actually used to be the training facility um, for the Baltimore Colts back when they were the Colts. Now they are the Ravens and now it's the facility that we use. Um, so that's pretty much what comes to mind for whatever reason my brain is going there. 
I, I have to say, if I think of Berkeley College's history and, you know, 90 years of educating students, I, I think it's so interesting to think that when Berkeley College began 90 years ago, we had an all female population only. And in 1980, we welcomed our first gentleman into the school. So, um, you know, we see so many different changes. So I just, I think that's kind of an interesting fun fact. And I just wanted to share the question once more. Um, so it is give an interesting and fun fact about your school. All right, thanks for sharing that. Um, so I would say the uh, interesting fun fact about Binghamton, something that most people don't know, especially being a public institution, around 30% of our students are Jewish. Um, it's, a, it's a large population of our students. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty big deal on our campus. Um, it ties into a lot of the things that happen on campus and how our holidays lay out as well um, and the days off that our students take. So um, that's a, a fun fact for us. We have a variety of student support services and over 250 plus clubs. So we're a very active campus. That's a fun fact about Bloomsburg University. Thank you. Great, and a fun fact about Brandeis, um, we have a real castle on campus. Um, it used to be dorms, however, um, in order to preserve it and ensure that it would still be standing, we had to take down the dorms, but a section of the castle is still standing and it is part of our kind of underground music club that we have on campus with a stage and a cafe. Um, so you can go hang out in the castle. Perfect. Thank you all for responding to that question. Um, with that said, that does um, conclude our college fair for this evening, but I do have a few closing announcements. So a quick survey will appear. It's approximately four questions or so. Feel free to respond to that survey. It helps us in terms of improving virtual college fairs in the future. Also, I'm going to encourage you all to sign up for additional sessions. You can visit our registration site. And finally, a recording will be made available within about a week or so. So feel free to visit our website, which is strivescan.com slash New Jersey. Again, thank you all for joining us, and I hope everyone has a great evening. Bye.